Hi, I'm Candace Cordelia on The Breakdown. Last week, we reported breaking news of Bill Simmons and ESPN's contractual business split. Now, all bets are on as the media and fans of Simmons await to hear where the sports columnist, analyst, and creator of Grantland will head to next. Late last week, Forbes.com contributor Eric Jackson argued that Simmons should be the face of Yahoo Sports, but now proposes that the sports guru should consider a business move to Twitter. In his defense, Jackson reasons that this venture would make sense as Simmons' tweets, inline podcasts, and periscopes all work as a match with Twitter, and how this would be a bold move for Twitter, which is always looking for ways to drive increased user growth and give unique reasons to go to the service, among several other beliefs listed by the business journalists. Los Angeles-based fashion designers and sisters, Kate and Laura Malevi, will soon transfer their gifted eyes for color and garment construction to the big screen. In breaking news, The Hollywood Reporter writes that the Rodard fashion label founders will make their directorial debut with a feature film titled Woodshock. Slated to star actress and friend Kirsten Dunst, the screenplay, also written by both Malevi sisters, has been in development for several years. All United States theatrical rights have already been purchased by film distribution, production, and finance company A24 Films, responsible for distributing this year's much buzzed about independent films, While We're Young, Amy, and Ex Machina. The Ben Network has addressed the recent 11 million undocumented immigrants who live and work in the United States, communicating that a number of them are being placed in management and professional jobs. As conveyed from information found by the Pew Research Center, most of these immigrants are still working low-wage jobs, but the 10% of them who have shifted into higher-paying managerial positions has risen from that same number in 2007 to 13% in 2012. Those workers in low-skill construction or production jobs has dropped from 34% in 2007 to 29% in 2012. For more on this story, please go to our website at www.bennetwork.com. And as always, we would love to read your thoughts. Send your comments to suggestions at bennetwork.com. I'm Candace Cordelia, and thank you for watching The Ben Network, where business and employment news comes first.